Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I hope you are all having a great weekend. Today I will be discussing one type of innovation that we learned about in our lectures this past week for my case study analysis, which is about incremental innovation. Incremental innovation can be described as an innovation that makes a relatively minor change or adjustment to an existing practice. Some examples that we discussed in the textbook about incremental innovations were changing the screen on a cell phone to make it more crack resistant or waterproof, and also offering a new service plan with better international service texting rates. The textbook also describes Sony's development of the digital camera as an incremental innovation since Sony had been an electronics company since in its inception, however, they did not have a product like the digital camera. A current day example of an incremental innovation would be Hulu's live television feature. Hulu has been a streaming giant for the past decade, but decided to add a feature to their platform in order to distinguish themselves over their competition, like Netflix and even cable companies, by adding this live television feature to their streaming platform. However, Hulu originally only offered its regular streaming plan with episodes of shows they carried available on their platform the day after they appeared on live television. This is a really good example of an incremental innovation because Hulu wasn't trying to change their whole streaming platform, but just add a new feature that could help benefit their success. I think this was especially beneficial to Hulu since the streaming industry has become so dominant in the past decade over cable. Since 2015, Cable sus subscriptions have continued to steadily decline, leaving many people to wonder if they even need a cable subscription anymore when they could subscribe to a streaming service that offers all the content they want to watch. However, now they could subscribe to a streaming service with all the content they want, but also with a live television feature as well. This addition of live television to their platform has boosted Hulu over its competitors and cable companies, especially in the Gen Z demographic. Since most Gen Zers don't want to spend the money on a cable subscription, especially because they're not bundling it with a landline subscription because they have smartphones, and they like the idea of having live television available to them also in the palm of their hand on their smartphones. At first, this feature wasn't very popular on Hulu, since most people weren't willing to switch over from cable, which makes sense. However, as people saw that Hulu, a streaming platform, could have live television and they liked the idea of all of their content being on one platform, its popularity really increased, especially amongst the younger generation. And this option of having live television was just the new thing. The case that I decided to analyze was a Wall Street Journal article titled Incremental Innovation or Breakthrough. Consider PNG's Tide Pod, written by Dr. Robert Plant, an associate professor at the School of Business at the University of Miami. Dr. Plant states that many corporations are pouring a huge amount of resources while looking for their, the next groundbreaking innovation that will hopefully sustain their organization for decades to come. However, Dr. Plant finds this idea to be extremely unsustainable and is insufficient to most companies because in case their product falls out of market favor and becomes the next big dud rather than the next big thing, this company will fall into bankruptcy. Dr. Plant suggests that companies alternatively look for an incremental innovation since it operates within a more immediate time frame, maintains that customer loyalty that was already established, and a brand presence. Incremental innovations refresh and extend your company's product range and lifestyle as well. PNG's Tide has been a product with a continued incremental innovation use since its original creation in 1964 and then again in its liquid creation in 1984. Tide launched its new take on detergent by putting them into a pod in 2012, which became widely successful worldwide. No one thought that by adding new and improved ingredients such as bleaches or enzymes 
to the traditional product form would have such an impact on the detergent and laundry industry. Tide continued on their incremental journey by making several varieties of the pods, like a sport version, a heavy duty, an eco-friendly, and then a bleached um, version over the past couple years since its first launch, which is all of them have become very popular, popular and used by many worldwide. And they've actually been very big in our demographic, especially with college students, since it makes laundry even easier than it would be with its normal liquid detergent. And Tide continued to be able to target the same consumers they always had and continue to build that brand loyalty and trust amongst its consumers. This has not only provided the brand with a refresh of opportunities for Tide and P&G, but a space for the company to continue to pursue its next breakthrough through incremental innovations.